Hi there. Didn't know you were going to be here. Since you're here, let me show you something. Okay, all right, enough of that. Uh, do you want to learn how to make some really, really cool and possibly really nerdy or really niche alerts in Canva using GIFs? You've come to the right place. Let's get into it. You need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. Today I'm going to show you how to make some killer alerts in Canva using GIFs, so let's get into it. By the way guys, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I stream over there three days a week. In fact, we do these videos live on stream, so if you ever want to ask questions or watch us do these videos live or come up with ideas live, again, I stream on Twitch pretty late at night. In fact, you see all the little D&D guys underneath me. That is my community right now. Chatters under there. You can say all kinds of things and I'll pop up during the video. Please make it appropriate. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Canva. If you don't already have an account, create one. Um, you don't necessarily need Canva Pro. However, if you want it, I will have a 45 day free trial down in the description. Let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to click create a design. Um, you can choose any of these you want. That is 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to go with presentation. Now that we're here, um, there's one thing that you are going to need to do. You'll need to come right here to apps and then you could type in GIF and you want to turn on Giphy. Now, I already have it, so it's there. It's completely free, you can use it. Then you wanna come up with an idea. So the first thing I would do is figure out something that you really, really like, and you can talk about. Maybe something's unique to your stream or unique to you. Um, one idea I thought of was doing all my alerts themed in the office, right? I, I love The Office, I think it's an amazing show. It's a brilliant show. Um, so you could do The Office, and, and easily enough, you could have, you know, you know, thank you for the subscription. You can use this one with Dwight and Michael for your for your sub alert, right? You could have, uh, go in and find one of these other ones like right here for when someone follows, yeah. We got that nice, are you kidding me? Uh, come on down, look uh, for something else. You know, when someone does a redemption you don't like, what is wrong with you? You know, anyway, go through that however you want. I, I wanted to look on here. I really like My Hero Academia. If you are a anime watcher, do me a favor in the comment right now, leave your favorite anime. But let's say we wanna do My Hero. I can't spell academia, so hopefully it'll figure it out. So, you know, I really like My Hero. You could absolutely do some My Hero gifts, right? So come in here, find whatever style gift you wanna use. Let's see, last one I wanna try is Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, wearing my Star Wars shirt right now, actually. Uh, and you could absolutely come in here and use some Star Wars alerts, right? Actually, my alerts are, I mean, they're, they're minimal. They're like this little bar. I have a video on that, by the way. I'll leave it down in the description and maybe in the doobly-doo somewhere. Um, but they actually play Star Wars sounds. And, and so, you know, I like that. Anyway, choose whatever theme you want to go with. There's probably gifts for anything you can think of. So for me, I'm going to go with Star Wars. That was not the original plan, but hey, let's live a little. So let's say we need a good sub alert. So... What do we want to do? Let's do, I kind of like this, it's a trap, or what is this one? This one here with, with Han Solo. Okay, whenever you first load them in, yeah, the Yahoo, I like it. Whenever you first load them in, they're kind of fuzzy, it takes a few minutes, but they start working again. Um, now that I have it here, I'm actually gonna go and change my background, and I'm going to do, of course, my green screen mode. And so I'm going to make this bright, bright green, just like that. When it hurts your eyes, you know it's right, okay? Now, some of these alerts may get tricky if there's any green in it when you pull it into OBS, it may start to remove just a little bit of it as well. Sometimes it happens, you may have to just tweak it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go with, uh, I'm just gonna add in some text. I could go in here to any of these font combinations and use them. This is a really easy, really simple way to get some text ideas. Um, I'll show you another one though, real quick. One thing you do is go, I'm just gonna go to a blank one so I can get this. I'm gonna go to design. Under templates, I just wanna type in Star Wars and see if there's any Star Wars themed templates. And there may not be. Let's see, let's do space. I just wanna drag this over and kinda of see. I kinda of like this font that they're using here. And so either way, I could come here and, and just get some ideas 
potentially use uh, any kind of fonts or combinations that they're using. Um, you can always come and just kind of grab ideas. The beautiful thing about the Canva is there are so many templates um, and other things that have already been designed incredibly well that you can go and, you know, borrow. Um, for now, I'm just gonna use, I'll use this. This looks fine, I'm just gonna control C to copy it. I'm gonna flip back over here, control V to paste it in there, right? And so now I'm just gonna type in new sub, right? I'm also going to, for this, change my color to white and then maybe make it a bit bigger. Drag that up, maybe add a little twist to this or something to make it fun. I don't know. You can do something like this. If you wanted to, you can add an effect like a shadow. Now, fair warning here, if there's any transparency in the shadow, um, it's not gonna work when you do your chroma key. Uh, so see how this is transparent and it's like still got some green showing through. That's, it's just not gonna work. So bring your transparency all the way back, all the way up and then you can you know, kind of adjust your direction and your offset a little bit to make it look how you want to kind of pop off. You know, something like that I think looks pretty good. We could also go over here to elements um, and do like some stars. I'm gonna see if we can't find any kind of graphics that kind of twinkle. Yeah, well, sort of like that. Yeah, just like that. So there we go. And I wanna make sure that nothing has been cut off. See how the top of this is cut off right here? Uh, that will be cut off when I export it. And so, you know, there we go, new sub, and then I would have, you know, their name right, right out here, right? Username 264, who is famous at this point, by the way, guys. And then you would just have you know, their name out here in, in whatever font combination that you'd like. And you're gonna do that, of course, in stream elements. So there you go, really, really simple alerts that you could make um, for really any niche, anything you want. Now, for the sake of the tutorial, I'll go ahead and make at least one more. That is our sub alert, but what about when people come up and they give that money money and we have that tip? So I'm gonna control D to make a copy of this. Now, I just wanna find a new GIF, so I'm gonna scroll down here to my Giphy app. Star Wars, and I'm just gonna say money. I don't know if anything's gonna come up. We're just gonna try it. Let's see. I immediately think of Mando when I'm thinking about the money, but uh, yeah, okay. So no luck actually is looking for money. So maybe we can just scroll and find one that looks kind of cool. That kind of makes sense. There we go. What about, what about the Hans never tell me the odds? I think that one, and that's kind of a, a different look too. So let's redesign this one um, for this longer image too. So in this one, I'll do a new tip. Let me line it up here to the left since there's text right there. And then username 264, you know, something kind of like this. Main thing is you just want to design it out. I have plenty of tutorials on good design practice and tactics, so you know, go check those out. But design something out that's kind of nice. For now, let's go ahead and set up this new sub alert right here, okay? So what you wanna do is we are going to, I'm gonna go share and I'm gonna hit download. Um, I'm not gonna download all pages, but you, if you design multiple, you'd wanna go ahead and download all pages. I'm actually just going to download page one. Um, and I actually want it as a, uh, as a GIF or an MP4 video. I'm gonna go with an MP4 video, okay? And I'm just hit download. And it's gonna do its thing, might take just a minute. Now for the next part of this, I'm gonna be using Stream Elements, um, but you could use Stream Labs or, or maybe Streamer Bot or you know, any of the other ones that you use. I just primarily use Stream Elements. Uh, so that's what I'll be showing it in, but anything that has alerts, this should work just fine. So when, as soon as it's done, we will load up Stream Elements. First thing you wanna do is open up Stream Elements, Stream Labs, whatever you use for your alerts. Uh, in Stream Elements, you're gonna go Streaming Tools, go down to Overlay. Uh, go ahead, create a new overlay. I go full size, so 1080 resolutions, fine. Plus sign to add an alert box, just like this. Now it's already gonna have everything set up. We're only gonna do the subscribe, but if you're doing all these other ones, definitely leave those checked. Uh, but for the subscribe alert, we're gonna jump into that. I'm gonna hit the setting cog. I'm gonna change the video. First thing I need to do is actually upload my video. So I'm gonna go here to my files down to my downloads and I'm going to drag over that Han sub right there it is as soon as it uploads we are going to hit submit and now it has changed now if there was you know any any sound or anything you'd add that I'm actually gonna take off the words just subscribed because um, I don't actually want it to say that it you know 
I want it to just say uh, just their name because I already have the new sub right there. And I actually want the text to be over the image and we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking to get the text where we want it to go, right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna emulate a sub and it's probably gonna show up on my stream as well. I don't know if I can affect, if I can make it not do that. Okay, so we can see immediately after that one worked, um, the, the name is definitely in the wrong place and I really don't like the way it looks. So we're gonna jump down here and we're gonna start editing it. Um, I do not want it to be blue, and so we're gonna change the color right here to white, just like that. All right, so I would change the color uh, right here, and then I could actually change my font to whatever I want it to be. Um, that font honestly was fine. Uh, I would obviously design this out a little bit better, uh, but I think that's okay. I can see right here is the name, so I'm gonna go up here to advanced, um, and I'm gonna go about 50 from the right, Let's see, I'm right, going the wrong way. So let's go, we'll go from the left then. Yeah, that's getting us there. Okay, and see, how I'm actually, I can see the change that it's making right here. So I'm just kind of making changes until I get it about where I want it. Something just about like that. So let's go ahead and emulate another sub. So the reason why I just hit the sub event, it doesn't work, but if I hit the one, it does. So I don't know. There. there we go. That is, you know, exactly how I want it. It, it does this little pulse thing. We're going to call that good. So here's what we're going to do is I'm actually going to make this sub box just a little bit bigger. Something like that. Save it. I'm going to go ahead and copy the over URL overlay. Now I'm going to bring over my own OBS. So there's going to be a little bit of streamception. Also, if you'd like to have a vid see a video on how I do this vertical setup over here where I can do a separate recording for say TikTok or something, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I can have a video on that. Okay, so we're gonna hit the plus button here and go to add a browser source. I'm just gonna name this, same thing I've been naming it, I guess at this point. All right, then we wanna paste in that link that we copied from Stream Elements. I'm gonna change my resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is the size that I created it in. If I created it in 720, change it to that. But you know, I went 1920 by 1080. I usually always do, it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, and hit okay. Okay, so immediately if I play this, so I'm gonna move this back over so you'll actually see it happen on my screen. I'm gonna move this over here as well. So you should see it appear on my stream somewhere. So there we go. Corner over there, right? All right, that's fine, but not what we want at all, is it? Because we have that bright green background and that just doesn't look good. So what we're gonna do now is with our Han sub selected, we're gonna go to filters. We're going to go over here to effect filters, hit the plus sign, and we're going to find chroma key, which is right here, um, which honestly by itself should already be pretty close to good. So I'm gonna go ahead and and, and put on another alert. And there. there we go. I'll move this out of the way so you can actually see. And now, I'd, of course, I'd position it where I wanted, but the background has been cut out and my sub looks, I think, really good. Um, and so I, I went through that really quick, but you can tweak it and, and work it how you want, but make some alerts and stuff that really fit your interests and what you love, you know, whether you know it's The Office or Star Wars or My Hero or whatever your favorite anime is. I don't know. I, I thought that was a really cool thing. It's really easy to do. Do it all in Canva and then whatever your alert is. Uh, anyway, hey, if you make something with this, do me a favor. Make sure you join my Discord. I'll have it linked down below. Go into the Share Your Art channel and post whatever you've made. I love to see what you guys have made. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.